Hey, welcome again to Life in the God Lane. This is a power verse for the day for Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. And I call this How to Win the War, Fight Spiritual Darkness. And it's from Ephesians 6, verse 12. And this is important stuff. This is about fighting a war that we fight every day and winning it, winning the battle. Hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell so you get notified every time I put one of these messages out, which is every day. Give me thumbs up, make comments, share the video with someone else. It could be life-changing for them. And we're, we're going to jump right into it. Pat Tillman was a safety for the Arizona Cardinals. Also, he was a standout, had a standout career in football at Arizona State University. Good guy. After 9-11... He enlisted in the Army and went into Special Forces. He wanted to be a combat trooper, you know, and he was. On April 22, 2004, he was killed in combat in Afghanistan, very, very sadly. After an inspection of the incident, after looking into it carefully, it was determined that Tillman was killed by friendly fire, which is tragic. Folks, it is important to know the enemy. It's important to know who the enemy is, and I want to take a look at that in this message today. It's from Ephesians 6, verse 12. We need to understand the enemy. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. It's important to see who our war is against so that we do battle with the right dude. The real war is not against flesh and blood. Uh, that means that the war is not against people necessarily. It's usually expressed through people, but the people are not the source of the conflict. What's the source of the war? What's the source of the conflict? I wanted to find the source of the conflict Literally and specifically, the war is against rulers, meaning spiritual rulers who are evil from Satan himself. That's the source of the conflict. That's the source of the war. The war is against spiritual authorities, those spiritual authorities under Satan's control. The war is against what is called world strengths, literally strengths of the cosmos, there's strengths out there in the world that are spiritual. The war is against this darkness, which symbolizes evil as opposed to light, which reflects the thing of things of God. It's against the, against the darkness of evil inspired by the devil. Darkness is the opposition. The war is being fought against spiritual evil in the heavenly places. Our war is against Satan's evil spiritual forces in heavenly places. They oppose us. They lie to us. They try to destroy us. The forces we oppose know, listen to this, they know they've been defeated. You know why? Because Jesus defeated them by paying for sin on the cross. And so they, they, they've been defeated when it comes to sin, which is one of their great tools. Jesus removed the power of death which was their other great tool, by being raised from the dead, clubbing death to death in the resurrection. The forces of evil fight with all they have left. And you know what that is? All that the forces of evil have left are deceptions and lies which they work through our feelings. And they get people doing terrible things by deceiving them and lying to them through their feelings and their thoughts. We're going to understand the armor that we have so that we can completely destroy and beat the forces of evil in this war. We're going to look at that over the next few days. Hang in there with me. We'll get to it. I will talk to you tomorrow.